Hi, I'm Caleb Beasley and I'm double majoring in journalism and telecommunications at IU Bloomington. Hi, I'm Deja Lockett. I'll be majoring in social work at IUPUI. Hi, I'm Stephanie Ojobanak and I'll be majoring in nursing at Indiana University Northwest. I'm Sydney Stanek and I'll be majoring in kinesiology at IUPUI. Hi, I'm Bianca Alessia and I'll be majoring in journalism at Ball State University. Hey, I'm Max Patterson and I'll be majoring in environmental science at Indiana University. Hi, I'm Dennis Collier and I'm majoring in communications at Ball State. Hey, I'm Brian Travis and I'm majoring in sports media down at IU Bloomington. Hi, I'm Bella Pianti and I'm majoring in journalism down at Arizona State University. Hi, I'm Ellie Chandos and I'm majoring in public relations at Ball State University. Hi, I'm DJ DeVries and I'll be majoring in nursing and Air Force ROTC at the Purdue University. Hi, I'm Carl Eliza and I'm studying business administration at Indiana State University. What's up, I'm Jack Hopkins. I'll be studying business at IUN. I'm Kara Scott and I'll be at Indiana University Bloomington in the fall. And this is your senior edition of Tribe TV. Golf has helped me a lot because it's helped me bond with the people on the golf team and others that I meet around the state. Also, it's kept me organized and got my things together. Hi, my name is Noah Brassi. I'm a senior here at Lake Central. Um, I've taken the peer mentoring class for about two years now. Um, I highly recommend taking the peer mentoring class. You get to help out the kids with special needs. You get to do stuff such as math and science and English with them. And you get to help them do mail cart at the end of the day if you're in the selected period. I highly recommend it for all juniors, freshmen, sophomores, and whoever's available to take it. High school wrestling has really impacted my life in a positive way. It has made me more of a leader and made me make better decisions. What I'll miss most about wrestling is being with all my teammates and being in a competitive sport. Hi, I'm Jenna Bunsen. I'm a senior. Um, I've been in choir since fifth grade, so when I got to high school, I just kind of assumed that I'd be in it again. Um, it's introduced me to a lot of new people. I've made a lot of friends. Um, the different things like dancing and everything in there has definitely pushed me out of my comfort zone and made me a little more confident with myself and, I don't know, made me do things that I never thought I would. Um, after high school, it'll be, it's a good experience for me to have because like going into college, I'm going to be meeting a lot of new people and having to do a lot of things that like, are out of my comfort zone. So I think it'll be good. When I started off in high school, I was really quiet and shy, but being in band and becoming head drum major has made me more patient, understanding, and confident. I met a lot of new people and even made some lifelong friends. It truly was the best part about high school. Uh, bowling for the last four years has taught me how to work with a team and, and that's the only way you can accomplish things in a group. The biggest thing I want to miss is the big tournaments that we have. We always would go down and rent a, uh, rent a hotel um, and we'd just, you know, do stupid stuff the night before and then we'd go and bowl all day the next day, so we miss that the most. I'd say hockey shaped me throughout high school a lot of different ways. Like from who I hang out with, like all my friends are basically hockey kids, and uh, it taught me a lot about time management. It's a long season, so you really have to be able to 
plan your school around your hockey schedule. So I'd say all that really helped me. That's why I am the way I am now. Hi, I'm Isabel Gomez. I'm a senior at Lake Central and I've been in theater since my freshman year. My favorite show that I've done at Lake Central would have to be Into the Woods and that was the uh, last show we just did. It was our spring musical and I played Little Red Riding Hood and that was a lot of fun to play and it was great just to share the stage with all of my close friends. Being in theater has really helped shape me into the person I am today. I've met some amazing friends that I think I'll keep with me for my life and I really don't think I would have had the same high school experience without doing it. The big thing that we've done with Open Mic over the past two years is just helping people like who don't necessarily know like how to express themselves or whether it be through music or what have you, um, just helping people to find their voice and I think that's definitely helped me out. I've been playing soccer since I was four years old. Um, it has prepared me to play at the high school level and for the past four years I've been preparing to play at the college level and I'm going down to Franklin College in the fall to play for their team. I'm Mohamed Hijaz, I'm a senior at Lake Central and I've been in Science and Aviat for four years. I think it's important for people to join clubs like Science and Aviat because it exposed me to much more science and math than I would have done in the regular school curriculum. Some of the things I've done in Science and Aviat include making a hovercraft, which is supposed to travel a certain distance in a certain time, and uh, I designed a helicopter. It's supposed to last as long as it can in the air. I've also done other study events, like hydrogeology, where I studied groundwater interactions with pollutants and learned how to uh, clean them once the groundwater does become polluted. I'm Abby Hines and I'm a senior in Lake Central Publications. I've been in pub for kind of two and a half years. Before I was in pub, I like didn't really know who I was. I was kind of involved in like a lot of different things. I was doing sports and I think once I came here, like kind of found my home, like my little niche. It just became a part of me and I think that it will always be a part of me and it's made me who I am today and definitely who I'll be tomorrow. Hi, I'm Matt Hughes and I guess you could say I'm the student supervisor for uh, Chess Club. Chess Club is mostly just um, a, rel a relaxation club where it's just people getting together and just sharing their love of chess. We used, to, it was every other week and just, it, it meant a lot to me because during AP exams, finals, and you know, just other stressful classes, it was just a time I can look forward to where I can just forget about that and just play a game that I loved. I'm Maddie Durek and I've been in French Club for two years. French Club has taught me to appreciate French culture and let me ask questions about the culture that don't come up in class. Hi, I'm Katrina Lazanowski and I'm a senior here. Um, I am the president of Dallas for Scholars and I've been in Dallas for Scholars for four years now. Overall, it's made me a better leader and made me become more organized and it's helped me form a better relationship with administration. 
I think everyone should get involved with Dollars for Scholars because it is the largest club at Lake Central and it really helps people connect with others from all grade levels and really get involved with our community. I'm Corey McCooley and I'm a senior and I'm going to West Point. I would say high school has prepared me for West Point because at West Point time management is a big thing and trying to balance extracurriculars, academics and all that at all the same time has been pretty difficult but I'd say I prepared pretty well for it. What's up, I'm Stephanie Ojobanak and I will be pursuing firefighting after high school. Pursuing firefighting after high school has been a goal of mine for a really long time and being able to finally get this opportunity is a great feeling that I am able to help people in our community. Without the help of my teachers and everything that I've learned throughout these four years and Mr. Freeman who always told me to never give up, then I definitely want to be able to reach this goal. Growing up, I watched my dad in a fire station and to be able to carry on with that and be able to finally do it on my own, it makes me feel really good. Hi, I'm Bella Punti and I am the digital yearbook editor for LCTV. Um, Lake Central Television has shaped me throughout high school by kind of giving me a place to fit in. I've always kind of struggled socially in high school. I never really had like a solid group of friends at Lake Central and so in LCTV I not only found what I wanted to do with the rest of my life, I also made some really great friends and kind of had a group of people that I could always depend on and look forward you know, to seeing. LC Academics have uh, they prepared, they prepared me for um, college and stuff because the the classes and courses were very difficult that I took. Um, they I have uh, done well in my classes and I uh, got accepted into college, so I credit those classes for that. Well, graphics has been like a really big important part of like my entire high school career because it's like a safe place where I get to go whenever I'm like not feeling good and always cheers me up and it's actually helped me to choose my career choice because I'm actually going into graphic design after high school so that's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm Zach Sanic and I'm going to be a diesel tech at Ford after high school. Everything that's done to my truck I've honestly learned from Brannick and I hope that I could carry on all my knowledge to Ford. What's going on Lake Central? I'm Ryan Voss. And we know how much the Indian means to Lake Central, but how much does Lake Central mean to the Indian? I sat down with Tyler Wernicke to try to find out the answer to that and more. Being the Lake Central Indian was probably the greatest thing that's ever happened to me throughout high school. I loved exactly every minute of it, every second. It was by far the coolest thing ever. Um, ever since I went to my first LC basketball game in sixth grade, Jimmy Rainbolt 
was the Indian in 2011 and I saw him and I was just like, wow, you know, I just really want to be him. And then I just followed like the Lake Central Indian from since I was in sixth grade until now. I made it my goal to just go up to everyone, just become friends with them, become cool with them, be like, hey, don't be afraid to sit in the student section, don't be afraid to voice your opinions. I really didn't think this year would turn out as well as it did. I mean, last year was kind of a down year and like I'm really glad like that I kind of had everyone come together this year in like a really spectacular way. Being the Indian has probably taught me to maybe have a little more pride and loyalty in some things because I think school pride a couple of years ago maybe or in the years past wasn't that big of a thing and I really think that that has maybe been brought back this year because it's kind of really cool again. When we played Munster August 19th, first football game of the year, I was looking forward for that for so long because my freshman year we lost to Munster, my sophomore year we lost to Munster, and my junior year we lost to Munster. And then senior year we finally beat Munster 35-7 and that was one of my favorite football moments along with basketball when we beat Munster in the sectional and just completely embarrassed them with like double their student section and beat them by like 15. You know, it's the biggest honor probably in my life right now. No one else has anything around here like that I know of, of a tradition like that. I mean, this tradition's been going on since like the 80s. The costume I have is from the early 2000s. Like, it's just something so awesome that no one else has. And it's something that if you go to Lake Central, you know that's there. It's something that we're unique to other people about. And all our fans still came out no matter what, whether we won, whether we lost, whether we even got blown out by 40. Like it, everyone just came out no matter what. But you just do it because it's Lake Central and you go to the school that you love. I'm Ana Zanza and I'm treasurer of NHS. And NHS has taught me to give back to my community through volunteering and also manage my time well between volunteering and other school activities. And I feel better prepared for volunteering in college as well. 